Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And then got the nerve to say what you would do to somebody for talking. Yeah, he he definitely, he was very keen to say, uh, I set him up. And, yeah. that, and that was the reason I wanted to, you know, talk about and address it. Because that's a serious statement to say, you know, the way he said it. I, I set him Man, up. Man, didn't you hear the tone of his voice? Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard it. He, he was real abnormal. He I, meant that. I set him up. See, but what happened when when you make that statement? You're in the you're you're in the heat of what you feel. Oh, his facial expression and everything. Oh, you seen it? He he's in the heat of what he feels. Once the feeling go, so that's this is why you shouldn't rely on your feelings. Once the feeling leave, that initial feeling has other feelings that's attached to it. Whether you admit it, whether you process it or not, you have to hear shame in the new video. I, I got yeah, it. Yeah, you do. They shame now. Let, 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 watch, yeah. this, watch this. That's what's so. F- they shame oh, now. Oh, oh, a nigga was just talking. Do you feel me? <laughs> play it back. Play it back. Play it back. Let me, let me play it back. This, now, this is the second video where they they come together after again, they got the backlash. After they, after they got the backlash. After, after we made after, the video. After, yeah, after we made the boss talk Jeez. video, here he come. Now, watch this. Here you go. Do you want to speak on it? Could they speak on it? I, I brought the, 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 the thing is. is First of all, a nigga was just talking. Oh, he, he sounds so humble. Yeah, to I don't him. care. I mean, the thing is, I was just he talking with him. set up that. another I black set brother? up Charleston White. You know, I was watching the nigga videos and shit, too, and I was like, I get the message. I hate niggas like him. Yeah, I, I, I'm just I to hate understand. them California you niggas. Live, listen, like, now he get the message, but you didn't get the last interview? Well, he said he didn't even, he, he had listened to him before. He already, but now all of a sudden, because of the backlash, he say, okay, I wouldn't set him up. He know? on a white boy platform say I set a nigga up and the world saw it. And the world in the world got him in his feelings. And the world rebuked him. And the world rebuked him. And the world rebuked him. And they rebuked that white boy. The man. white boy, man, that's something. I, I'm gonna say this because I've gotta say this. When I seen the way uh Adam 22, it had an Adam 22. Adam 22, no he, jumper. No jumper say he reminded me of uh, Jerry Heller on Straight Outta Compton. I'm telling you, when I was watching him. First thing we're going to do, we're going to sue this ignorant fuck. That's what we're going to do. I don't know, you know, defamation of character, libel, I don't really care. The anti-Semitic piece of fucking shit. Who the fuck does he think he is? Because Jerry Heller, after they made that diss song on that movie, Straight Outta Compton, he was like, we got to do something. How did they do this? Because he was trying to He make, wanted to amp he, them he niggas up, yeah. He, that kind of fucking bullshit, Jew bashing bullshit. You know what? I'll call my friends at the JDL. Uh, they'll handle him. We'll see how much he likes that. You want to try to make sure he keep the control. See, see over the situation with those guys because that's what Jerry Heller was doing. This is a fucking battle rap. Come on, Eric. We got to get organized. We got to fight this kind of ignorant fucking bullshit. You know what? I always knew that he was a hateful human being. He was trying to keep that control. He he was embarrassed for for them even being. Cause they called him out. Like, oh, you when you were speaking, you said, uh, you said that's the the boss. They have to yeah. go to their boss. And and I could feel in his spirit when he said that. When you said that, he felt some type of way because he was being exposed for really what was happening. Yeah. on that platform. I, I listened to the nigga say, uh, Google who he is and say, nigga, you a no name, Adam Jumper. Is the motherfucker. The podcast don't say Adam 22 AD in the nigga sidekick. <laughs> it says Adam 22. That's that white boy's name on there. And he got them two niggas right there to help aid him. DA and payphone. The white boy Howard Stern, same thing. Nigga, your name ain't on there. I made my name big, nigga. I ain't got no white boy sitting next to me at the table. I treat white boys bad if they like Adam 22. They don't run nothing in this country. So what the fuck I'm going to be friends with a weak white boy like that for? I don't like liberal white boys, period. I'm a conservative nigga, and I like conservative Pecklewood racist white folk. Who grandpappy, granddaddy, daddy, status own niggas. They understand us better than a nigga who ain't own, a white boy who ain't 
people ain't on niggas. We play on them kind of white boys. The friendly white boy don't know a real how we really feel. We play on him. That redneck rice's white boy know how we really feel. And we know how they we got a better understanding with each other. A California white boy, we can't now, man. So when I see them niggas on there and they come back and double down on their words, yeah, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I knew you <laughs> nigga. Why, why hey nigga, I stand on everything I say. I stand on this shit, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.